guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 22 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Excuse me. the heck is that? That had to be outside. And okay, the most successful thing. Oh, poor babies. Well, I don't think she can. She could probably maybe change the characters. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. It's not your fault and it's okay. Okay. 
because you're more comfortable around her. <laughs> so, the way she throws that thing, it's just, she's throwing a Pokeball. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Go! <laughs> Cute though. Right. Yeah. Well, you have to him. Yeah. Wood block banging. Like, how expensive are we talking about? Like, three coins? Gold coins? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I'm busy. Maybe charcoal, like grind it up and add some water and that could work. I don't know. Oh, who knows when that's going to be. And that's a smart idea. But who knows if it's actually gonna work. Oh my god, she's got everybody working.
Awesome. It's a little messed up though, but hey. Mm So you were in the Oh. Oh, no! It's not your fault. Adding in the oil and stuff. Nice. We'll make her overthink her ideas, Luke. Oh my god. 
All these kids are like Annie, and they're just looking for their adopted dad, but it's their mom, Wilma, and they want her to be happy at camp. Can't give you my resources, bro. Come here, Cody. Oh, really, everyone. Because she can't tell the truth, really. I mean, that is her truth, but we know the other reason why. You want to hurry up and do it now just in case you change your mind in, in like a couple of seconds. <laughs> Not the other way around. Frame that bitch, put it up on the wall, and be like, mm, I did that. Oh.
<laughs> we can zoom in, guys. That's cute. Yeah, how are you going to bind it, though? Which one do you string? String. Perfect. It's a book. A real book. All that hard work paid off, baby. But you did it. No, one of money. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was perfect. Oh my God, that was everything I needed today. I mean, oof. All three of these shows that I just finished watching, I mean, Kaguya did, you know, the thing I needed. Freaking villain did that thing that I really enjoyed, and I'm so happy with the desires for this. Oh my God, she finally made a book. All that hardship. Paid off, and I'm so proud. I'm proud of Mama too. She put aside her fears. Go see. I'm gonna cry. Oh my! This damn show made me cry too freaking much. But you know what? That's okay. I love it so much. It's a sweet show, and I think I'm gonna be really sad because we are almost done with this show, and I really don't want it to end because it's so good, and I don't think I can literally go into summer without it not being on the listing so I kind of hope that something else comes for this girl but oh my god she has a book she made a book oh my god just frame that book put that on the wall and be like yes mine made this book with the help of everybody else I'm so happy I'm proud I'm like oh just want to hug precious babies. Like, oh. I won't cry. <laughs> Happy tears. Like Arsene Lupin? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, how are you guys going to get metal parts and everything else? Right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so cute. I love it. But, oh god, just, she has it. She got a book. And just, oh, I'm going to be talking about that for the next few weeks. My daughter has a book, and I'm proud, and she made it all by herself. And you're just like, mm, this child finally accomplished her goal. Everything that she wanted since episode one. Being in a world where no books are, like, even made and to finally seeing an actual book and then saying, like, hey, I want to see that book and seeing it and then seeing a library and everything. And then finally, it took 22 episodes. <laughs> but I'm so happy. <sighs> this girl, she's changing everyone for the better and they're all changing her as well and she's showing the things that she can bring from being reincarnated, and I love it so much. I just, I get the fact that, you know, it's face really wanted to talk to her about, oh, how do you know all this? And it's, it's one of the many things that, like, almost any person really asks her, and it's like, well, what the heck do you say to someone who you can't really know the truth of? It's like time travel in a way when you're going to, um, whether it's in the past, the future, with some TV shows or movies that, that they do, 
where you can't even talk about it. Or, you know, like how in Kingdom Hearts, where it's like, oh, we're going to other Disney worlds, but we can't talk about the fact there are other worlds because of reasons and plot for, uh, surface, services and shit like that. And so they'll never know that, like, oh, hey, this is here and this is here and it's like that. But I get that. But it's just, I'm happy. I'm so freaking happy that everything is going so successful for her. And I can't wait to see what she's going to do in these, like, last few episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 26 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 23. Bye, guys.